Hi, everybody. I'm Danny Dancer. I am the Kidtropolis educator here at Children's Museum Houston, and I am here for another Early Childhood Corner, which is brought to you by Catherine G. McGovern and McGovern Foundation. Today's video is sponsored by Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. So when it gets cold outside, like it does in January, even here in Houston, there are things that we as people can do to help keep ourselves warm, right? If you're cold outside, you can go like this to warm up your arms a little bit. You can put on extra layers, like maybe you put on a sweater and maybe you put a coat on top of your sweater. If you are inside, you can do things like bundle up with a blanket snuggle up next to someone in your home, or you can even, if you feel like you need to, turn the heat up a little bit inside. Now, animals, and especially wild animals outside, when it gets cold, there are things that they do to help keep themselves warm too. And one of the things that animals will do to keep themselves warm in winter is find a good shelter. And a shelter is sort of like their home. It's something that they can either find or they can make so that they can get away from the wind and the cold and stay a little bit warmer. So for some animals, they might end up in a little hole in a tree, or they might dig under the ground and go under the ground to keep themselves warm, or maybe they find like a den or a cave and they can crawl inside there. So what we are going to do for today's Early Childhood Corner is we are going to make our own animal den. That's right, parents, this is a great opportunity for your kids to use their imagination. They can imagine that they are a bear or a squirrel, and they can actually build a shelter using really, really simple building materials because we're just gonna use things like blankets and pillows. You can even use like couch cushions if you want. And we're gonna see if we can build something that we can actually go inside to help keep us warm. So like for example, if I have a blanket right here and I want to take some pillows and let's see if I stand my pillows up here and then I can put my blanket across the top. Let's try that again. Pillows, blanket across the top. As it turns out, it's kind of hard to do this by yourself. So this is where it's a really, really fun way for parents and our smallest kids to work together to actually build this structure. Now my kid's a little bit bigger, but I think she's gonna be able to help us out. Corey, can you come in for a minute here? Hi, everybody, this is Corey. Corey, you can say hi. Hello. So Corey is a little bit bigger than our early childhood audience, and so she is also an experienced pillow fort builder. So do you think we can build a pretty good yes. pillow? We have to make it big enough that we can crawl inside to stay warm. Do you think we can do it? Yes. All right, so let's get to work. Here we go. Now what you can do at home with your toddler if you want to extend the learning while you are in your fort, you can do something like read a story about animals while you're inside. You can sing a song about animals. You can even do your best animal sounds as you continue to pretend to play as animals. Thank you very much everybody for joining us for today's video which is sponsored by Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo from all of us here at Children's Museum Houston. We'll say bye and see you all again soon. Bye.